got here? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. Tig, we are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, fun. said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, no, funny face. Silly daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as? said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bobble bug monster. A bobble bug monster, I said. What's a bobble bug monster? A monster with lots of bobbles. Mummy helped me make the Bobble Bug Monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my Bobble Bug Monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Mm, a surprise. That's a I'm surprise. not sure yet, said Angel. Yeah. We were having the Halloween party in a bag Big room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Willy, so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Willy has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters, fairies, ghosts, witches, pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round. Gather round, because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy <laughs> cried. Right, no more scary. But Halloween is scary. You're OK. No more scary, said <gasps> Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bobble bug monster. Then Mummy said, look who's arrived. I thought it was Angel. But it wasn't. Mr. Jack o' Lantern! <laughs> it was Mr. Jack o' Lantern, the trick or treat man! <laughs> Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to hello. do a trick for Mr. Jack o' Lantern. Oh. Oh. Keep going, keep doing it. And then he gave us a treat. There you go! I was so excited. Oh! I'd practice my very own bubble bug monster stomp. My turn came, but then I saw another bubble bug monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the bubble bug monster. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you think you're the only bubble bug monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. But then when people copy you, 
You can feel pleased too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, two monster bubble bugs are better than one. So go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel liked my bubble bug monster. Monster stomp. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack o' Lantern. We got his treats. After that, Mr. Jack o' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweeten those marshmallows. Eating the marshmallow. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. It's time to wrap up the mummy. Oh, or should I say, a daddy? <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. Pinning the bow tie on the skeleton. And then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bobble Bug Monster Bedtime! Tired Bobble Bug Monster. No! I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun. We don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules. I but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too. But even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters, oh yes I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chums. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep. Snuggle down comfy and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. Not a bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <gasps> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dragon. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween and I love Wooly. Harvest supper! When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. 
One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yee-haw! Yee the harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Willie came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were grown on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and OT flapjacks. Those are OT flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the OT flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The OT flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the oaty flapjacks? Where are the oaty flapjacks? In the kitchen, in the kitchen said Mummy. They grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Uh -huh. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eye. I drew a mouse. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy 
gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. Daddy, Louise has my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you are wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Whee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, by the sea or land Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day What matters most is getting on and joining in the play There's right and wrong and wrong and right and what will be will be Now no more angry feelings Let's agree to disagree One way you'll see a rainstorm One way the sun will shine Depends which way you're looking One thing, and Louise thought another. But I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. Going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school, but a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. A nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this? Willie. Would you like to come and show Willie's going to school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. There were pegs to hang up our coats. There were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Tig. 
Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. She's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Tig. Do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes. When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Tig. No, you can't be Tig. Oh, it is Tig. <laughs> Yay. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Tig. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Sanderson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Sanson showed us how to write letters. Go up, down, with a tape. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Those are wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I wanted to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanson. Ping! My pencil broke. I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig, you broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy worry free days. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy worry free days. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanson. Oh, no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries, said Miss Sanson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Sanson. 
when I wanted to go to the toilet. Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Wooly to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Yes, Tick. I've lost Wooly. Okay. I told Miss Sanderson. I was so worried. Miss Sanderson couldn't find Wooly. Poor Wooly was lost. Miss Sanderson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Yeah, do you know where he is? I know where Wooly is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Wooly was. Wooly was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Wooly to hug again. Well done. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Wooly. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never, I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willy. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Wooly. When I came home, Wooly was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Wooly and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, we I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Wooly. Guess it's me, Wooly. Let's go. The dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. My dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. You look like a fairy tale princess. Right, let's go do the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. There you go, bye. See you later. OK. For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie. And I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance class and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lottie shouted, Music! Right Music please, Mr. Tonka. Mr. Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, okay? So Miss Lottie shouted, Trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lottie shouted, Leaves! Here and there. Okay, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Miss Lottie shouted, skip! I didn't like Miss Lottie shouting. Lambs, I didn't like Miss Lottie at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr. Honky and his piano. 
I didn't like dancing, Claire. Hey, Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on. I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air. Bicycle time. And pedal. Pedal, 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 pedal. Whee! Horses. Right, gallop, and... Hey, Tig, she wants us to be horses. Click, clop, click, clop, click, clop. Trot, 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 trot. Yeehaw! Phew! Tig, that was so much fun. I'm pooped. Your turn. But the shouting. Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought. Mr. Honky's piano is very loud, and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. Now flap your arms and flap. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love Willie. Tig. <laughs> I love Willie.